hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel once again i'm so happy to be with all of you today today is going to be the making of this peplum you see on the screen okay you can see how it's looking you know as if uh, it's an umbrella also okay so right now you can see on my paper i have um i marked out the curves okay i first of all marked out this curve but i'm going to tell you what i just did okay so now i want you to look at the basic bodies i have here this is the basic bodies of of a gown can you see and i drafted everything okay it's not on fold you can see this is the full front bodies okay and being the full front bodies i believe you understand what i did here you can see the neckline the armhole the two armholes for the front are there my chest line okay this is my chest line and this is my bust point this is the under bust point and this is my waist line okay i have my hip line here this is my hip line and i also have i also have here in here i'm trying to adjust my paper to show you okay and i have in here my knee length okay so that is what i expect you to have to achieve this kind of step on right now okay so right now we have to jump into this tutorial right away i need to show you how that peplum is being achieved so but before we continue please i'm so happy for all your subscriptions and i i appreciate all of you one after the other and for those who are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video share to family and friends drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well okay so to begin this tutorial right away you can see i've shown you what i did all the markings i have in here okay i've illustrated to you what i have you can see my vertical line starting all the way from the shoulder okay so my shoulder line my chest line bust point on the bust waistline hip and knee i'm stopping this at the knee because you can see how that that peplum went it stops right on the knee so the first thing i did in here in my drafting is to take the measurement of my from the center front this is my center front my bust divide by four this is my bust divide by four okay on one side because my paper was on fold when i drafted so i have to open it up so my bust divide by four you can see 10 inches so when i opened it up i have 20 inches so this is exactly my bust okay half of the bodies my bodies okay then i'm not making use of the uh, uh, the circumference of the underboss but i'll be making the use of the vertical line uh, of the underboss then i just came directly to my waist and took my waist my waist divided by four is nine inches you can see so when i open up my paper i have 18 inches i did not add any that to please okay because if you look at that um uh, uh, the picture on the screen you can see that no that was uh, uh, it was this peplum was formed after the dart must have been sewn so because I, I have to draft out this peplum right from my bodies that is why you see me doing what i'm doing now without my dart so this is just my body if i have to fit in myself in here i will be fitted as in uh, this is a fitted a fitted gown for me okay all right so now i have achieved my hip my waist then my hip is exactly the same thing too my hip divided by four is what i have from the center front then when i open my paper i now have times two of it that is 23. all right so now i want to first of all draft the peplum peplum on the skirt part of it okay so if you look at the peplum at the skirt part of it actually it's not really a flay it's not just i call it a peplum because it's just in the position of the peplum okay but it's not a, a flay or 360 or whatever okay so what i did 
just there from my waistline i'm walking right from my waistline okay you can see i have my markings already i've already marked it out with my pencil but i want to show you what i did so right from my waist i took the measurement of my waist to my hip you can see i have nine inches i took the midpoint the midpoint of, of nine inches right here after i i have you know drafted my basic gown as you see is 4.5 so this is the midpoint of the waist and the hip now at this point of 4.5 i came out by 1.5 inches can you see my 1.5 inch all right so having done that with my straight ruler i simply connected the midpoint you know i came up by okay so from this point you can see i have 1.5 you can see my 1.5 mark okay so i just drew a line okay a line that is up to that 1.5 to this point you can see what i just did i stopped a little above okay a little above like let me say a quarter of an inch from the point of if i have to put a straight line that is but i don't want to put it so i can i will not confuse you so once you uh, assume you have a straight line and make a mark of 1.5 you just put your dots then you now put your rule to the waistline and connect it before a quarter to that 1.5 i believe you understand that so that is all i'm doing on this side i believe you saw what i did i don't know whether you saw what i did i have to repeat it for you to see so the first thing i did after drafting my full gown bodies fitted is to take the measurement of my waist and my hip this is my waist this is my hip the midpoint of it is 4.5 this is my 4.5 and at the point of, of point of 4.5, I just keep my tape straight and measured 1.5. I connected the 1.5 point. This is the 1.5 point to my waist. But before I stopped before a quarter of an inch. Can you see? This is the dot I have, but I stopped my ruling before a quarter of an inch. So that is what I have on the right side of this peplum. Now I'm going over to the other side of the peplum to also show you what I did on the other side. That is the right hand side of the peplum. What I did is to come over to the hip and I took the measurement of three inches. Can you see that? This is my three inches. Okay. So from here, from this point to this point is three inches. You understand that? Okay, so now, after doing that, the next thing I did is, I found, I took one of my curve rule that will give me a very beautiful curve from the 3 inches point to the waistline. Okay, so from this 3 inches point to the waistline, you can see how I positioned my rule. And immediately I made a beautiful curve to that point. Can you see the curve? all right so having done that the next thing i did i moved all the way to the knee line so at this point of this this knee line i want to say something about this knee line you can see that peplum it depends on how long you want it to be you can even cross your knee line it is your style is your design okay but for the purpose of this tutorial you can even come up by three inches before you create this sharp point Okay, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will just want to do it on the knee line. Okay, so at the knee line right here, I took my measurement of 2 inches. You can see the 2 inches. Alright, so having done that, I also picked up my curve rule again. And I kept it in this manner. Connecting from the 2 inches line, you can see and blended it up i have to blend it up okay to give me exactly the curve i need there so this is my blending right now i'm blending into the already curve i have you can see how i did it i blended into the already curve i've already made so in other words i'm not making use of this okay it served as a guideline for this beautiful curve so having done that, the next thing I'm going to do right away 
is to connect what I have. What I have in here at the curve, at the knee line, has to be connected using my curve ruler. So I found one of my curve ruler that might give me what I want. So this is what I just did. I keep pushing it. Okay. Let me change this other way because I need to get this curve accurately. Okay. All right. Let me see if this is the, the one that gave me what. Alright, so this one also gave me exactly what I'm looking for. So at this point, I'll move my line, okay, just to this point. Can you see? I didn't go all the way because going all the way with the cover I have, I will not be able to achieve what I want. Okay, so what I did is to keep moving this ruler. I keep moving this ruler. You can see how I'm, I'm moving it. I'll keep moving it as I'm going. I'm trying to make sure I have a beautiful curve in there. Okay? So at this part is really your, your creativity. You need to be creative at this point. As you are ruling, you need to keep adjusting. So you can see I've, I used my hip curve right now to make that beautiful curve. Okay? So you can see what I have in here. Can you see that? I believe you are seeing what I have. Alright, so that is all we need. All we need for the damn part of this peplum you are seeing. Nothing more, nothing less we are doing in here. Okay? So what we have exactly here is going to be cut times two. We are cutting times two of this. Okay? If you wish to cut out this you can cut it out if you wish to trace it out you can trace it out whatever thing you want to do but when tracing or cutting you need to cut two of this okay then when you'll be sewing after cutting on, on your fabric and adding your seam allowances then you are going to join these two at this point you put them together your fabric together and join at this point but i want you to also know that the fabric you are going to use has to be a uh, stayed with your peplum stay you need a thick peplum stay for you to retain this shape the way it is in the picture okay you really need a thick peplum stay okay so once you apply your peplum stay your lining and fuse this front and the back part together you will find out how beautiful this is going to look okay so another thing i want to also say is this coming over to this part after you must have attached to your peplum stay you will also fuse this part together you know they are two okay I don't want to start cutting uh, uh, my paper right now to fuse it to show you and all that, but I believe you understand what I'm talking about. Two of these, you fuse this, uh, the other part that looks alike this way, okay, then the other part you fuse this way. So after you must have fused it, remember the back, the back part will be having a zipper. So all you need to do is just to come over here for the back and cut it, separate this, okay, you just cut it out for your zipper okay i mean on your paper and add your seam allowance that is before you place on your fabric or, or if you cut it you add on your fabric your one one inch seam allowance for your zipper that is for the back part of it all right so now that we are through with the down part of this we are going to jump into the upper bodies you will see what happened at the upper bodies at the upper bodies you can see what I did is just to come up, I came up from the waistline with half an inch. You can see my half an inch line. I came up with half an inch because I have, the distance between my underbust and my waistline is too short. Okay, if yours is longer than what I have here, you can come up by one inch, okay? Then I came up to the underbust line, I came up by half an inch as well. Can you see? Okay, so if yours is, like I said, your difference between underbust waistline is like, you know, 5 inches or 4 inches or whatever, 
uh, five inches six inches you can come up by one inch and come up by one inch so but now that i'm making use of this shorter under bust and uh, waistline difference i'll be connecting my half half inch to the half inch with a line like this can you see so having done that the next thing i want to do i'm going to take the measurement of my my waist and my waist i have 18 inches i'm going to share this 18 inches three 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 okay so if you have a smaller waist you can also use two two if you have a smaller smaller waist you can use one and a half you can share one and a half one and a half so why am i sharing this i'm sharing this because i am going to slash and spread i am going to slash and spread these parts okay so as to achieve the pleating that you saw there before attaching it back to the bodies so now immediately i'm going to trace out the upper parts okay and i'm going to name them one two three four five and six so that when slashing it i will know which one that comes after which okay so quickly i'm going to cut out this part of the bodies right now to enable me slash and spread okay to so slash and spread the outer, upper, upper, upper part so i'm going to quickly separate i'm going to quickly separate the waistline can you see so i'm separating the waistline to cut out the, the all right beautiful people okay i thought of showing you what you are expected to have okay before i start cutting out okay so i have to make them together back again to show you what i have so you can see in here right now i have everything draft edge that is the part that we need inside these bodies okay so you can see that i have the upper part which i numbered one two three four five six and the skirt part of it which i'm going to cut two times of it this part will be cut only once okay it's going to be cut only once but you can see it's over is overlapping each other as in it we have two of it in front okay so what i mean is this this part is going to be cut two times but the upper layer the upper layer i need to also show you what you do it's just like making two steps per plum. okay so all i will do is just to come up maybe by three inches three inches three inches okay that is for the upper for the other step the upper layer of it so the same thing applies to this one i'll just come down okay maybe with, with one one inch to make the down layer so right now this is what i expect you to have at the first drafting can you see that is the first drafting so after cutting off the first part of this peplon then we are going to we are, we are going to make the layers okay so you can see exactly what we have so i thought of showing you right now so right now let us continue what we are doing you can see i've cut off the upper layer i mean the upper bodies and i'm on the skirt part of this okay so i'm trying to i want to show you what i'm doing right now just to cut out Just to cut out the shape I have in here okay so I need to cut out this shape then I can now make another layer that is another step because in there we have two steps of this shape okay but this is the basic shape I just made I made the one that is going to be the longest then from here, I'm going to cut out the shorter part of it. Alright, 
beautiful people let me keep it this way for you to see i believe you are seeing what i'm showing you right here so this is what you expected to have for that shape of peplum you see in there in the picture okay so like i said we are going to cut two of these one for front one for back and you are going to fuse the two this way i just wish to cut this to show you what i mean okay but that will be best when you add your seam allowances you are going to add your seam allowances of one inch or 0 0.5 on the side 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay that is on your fabric so this is the front part of my fabric for example the front part of it and i'm done cutting it so the next thing I'm going to do is to place this on another fabric again and cut the back part of it. So once I cut the back, back, back part of it, assuming this is my back part, okay, let me demonstrate it again. I'm done with the skirt part right now and I'm cutting on my fabric. I've added my seam allowance. I'm done cutting out this one. I'll take it away. Now I've placed it again on another fabric to cut the back. I'm, I'll cut the back exactly the way I cut the front But before you cut exactly the way you cut the front remember that this is the center back where you have your zip Make sure before you cut on your fabric you've cut out this part I don't want to cut it out because I'm still making use of it Make sure you use your scissors and cut here before you cut the back that is with this same pattern if you cut out this part, you separate the two, you now add your one, one inch zipper allowance. Then cut on your fabric separately for the back, cut separately for the back, for your, for the back part of it. Then you are going to fuse this side to the front part, this same part that rhymes with it to the front part. And you fuse the back part of it to the front part that rhymes with this. And at the end of the day, this part will be open for you to fix on your waistline with your zipper. I believe this is quite understandable. So right now, I want to make another step. Okay, you know, in that picture, there's another step. We have a double steps, just as you do in your peplum, double steps. All you need to do, you need it at 2.5. You add, you keep marking 2.5. You need it at 2 inches, you keep marking. Okay, however you need it is your style, is your design. You keep marking all the way. So having done that, all you need to do right now is to take the shape. The same shape you have here, you also bring this shape back in here. Can you see? So I'm bringing the shape with a broken line. I just need to get this shape accurately okay let me use this part to connect it okay all right so I just use a broken line to show you what I mean by that I believe you are seeing what I'm doing in here that, that is for the second part of the layer second step of the peplum okay so you keep doing this doing that doing that and once you come over here you also pick up the shape you have in here move it up there i believe you saw this is the second step right now okay so let me write this is step one and this is step two all right step one step two you can see that so after you must have cut the step two, that is the whole of this, all you need to do is to use your scissors and cut off here. Do exactly the same thing you did for step two for step one. I believe you saw that. So that is all for this. So in other words, step two is going to be cut two times. One for front, one for back. Step one, that is step one. Step two will be cut two times again. That's after you must have cut out this part. You are going to cut the full first. Then cut out this part and cut the second part. Okay, so now let's jump, jump into the slash and spray. All right, people. So you can see this is the upper body bodies we want to slash and spread right now. And you can see I what I did was just to trace out. You can see I just traced out this. Okay, it's because I want to work on this. I, I don't want to cut out this. So I'll take away the bodies. 
and now it's time for me to slash and spread okay so you can see i made a line i made a straight line i gave a gap of five five inches to enable this to enter perfectly so right now i'm going to slash i'm going to slash this you can see i numbered them to help me identify them so i will slash them the way we divided them okay but you still need to be careful i was supposed to make a mark in here okay i need to make a mark to identify the up and the down okay so i'll just make one one mark so that we know the part that is up and the part that is down okay so i'll do that. so i'm done slashing all of them you can see that so what i'm going to do right now is to start spreading them I'm spreading them on this line you see me make here. So what I'm going to do with my adhesive, okay, I'll keep spreading, okay. So I'll come just to the edge. I came right from the edge of the pepper, as you can see me. So having done that, it depends on how big you want your pleating to be, okay. You want to pleat in like maybe... Uh, four inches so to speak so if i'm pleating it like two two inches i'm going to take four inches before the next one okay so that then i'll make a mark i'll divide the four inches into two before i spread so that at the end of the day i'll be pleating this two. okay i need okay i'll be needing my pleats this way to kiss it depends on the type of uh, pleating you want to make actually okay all right so but by the time we finish this you are going to see how what the outcome is going to look like so all i did is this i want to pleat at two two inches and i took four inches that's two inches two inches four inches then i'll be placing the next one it depends on your pleating like i said if you want more pleating you can take three three if you want it to be bolder than what I have here, you can take 3-3 three, three or even 4-4. Four, four. It depends on how bold. But I think 2-2 two, two inches is okay. So now I've done number 2. I'll also pleat. I'll also spread at 2-2 two, two inches. That's 4 inches. Then before I place number 3. okay so you see i placed number three then i'll keep pushing i'll still make another mark like that okay that is two two inches gap i'll place number four so this is what i'll keep doing till i get to number six so make sure as you are doing this make sure you have them on the straight line okay and the first one must start also on the straight line you can see it started at the edge of this paper you can see that okay so what i did is i pleated at two two inches two two inches two inches two inches two inches two inches so if you want yours to be more pleated you can use three inches but i think two inches is okay so i'm going to do this for the rest of this okay so keep watching so you can see i've cut out the base right now this is the base you can see but what i need to do is to start connecting them the way they are okay you know it was slanted and you need to connect the slanted lines okay so i'm connecting these lines okay let me show you how i'm going to connect the lines okay i'll connect it end to end okay let me show you okay you know this is two inches two inches okay so right now i'm going to merge this to the two inches before i cut that is the best way you can get it accurately okay so i'll just hold it down with a i'll just hold it a little with my my adhesive or your cello tape preferably a cello tape okay so i will merge okay i'm picking it from the center you know i share to two inches the midpoint of it i'll merge to the next one 
that is what you're expected to do for all of them before you cut okay so i'm going to do that for all of them then i'll cut it out for you to see all right people so you can see what i have in here i have tried you know putting my place together 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 and i have it how it was like how it was before so all i'm going to do right now i'm going to cut out following the shape it has before i slashed and spread can you see so i'm just cutting it out exactly on this slanted line okay all right what did i do here i just cut out my my uh, before i flip that's what i have in the bodies i just cut it out again you can see this is the bodies and this is the pleating we are supposed to have in here so what did i do just just now i slash and sprayed and you can see it's fitting into the bodies again so now i'm going to open it up remove the cello tape so that we can see what we have at the end of the day can you see what we have at the end of the day people so this is exactly what i expect you to have at the end of this slash and spread that is why i used another color of pepper so that you are going to see the slash and spread so clearly okay this is uh, the originals and we now made our pleating so you are going to place this on your fabric the way it is i believe you are seeing what i'm, I'm showing you in here you are going to place this on your fabric the way it is remember the way you have one one stroke is the base that will be attached to the to the that will be attached to the upper bodies okay so this is my upper bodies in here okay so after i must have added my seam allowances of 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 all through so i will start this is my fabric i'm pretending this is my fabric so the first one will be kept in here then i'll now pleat in can you see okay so i have pleated in the first pleating then the second one that is on my fabric i'll also push it in okay as if i'm pleating it what i'm doing here is pretending pleating this stuff right now can you see okay and you make sure you pleat exactly at the lines okay the point you have so the next one pleating i'm going to pleat in here the next pleating i'm going to pleat in here according to how they are and the last one will be pleated in here can you see what we have at the end of the day okay so right now this is what i expect you to have for the upper bodies and if you want to make like i told you is two steps all you need to do for the two steps before you you slash you have to create the two steps okay all right so i want to bring to your notice that you can see the upper bodies of this um, this outfit that we just made now it's just plain remember when when you are done with this when you are done with it let me take the upper bodies when you are done with this what you are expected to do is to draft your normal bustier if you are making a bustier from shoulder to half length you draft your normal bustier and your skirt pattern the normal way you drew you draw your you draft your skirt pattern okay then add your necessary seam allowances so for the upper bodies of that gown you are seeing is a bustier in fact it is a tube with yoke so you have to follow exactly the videos on on the tube with yoke or corset with yoke or whatever thing you want to do in the upper bodies okay then if you're making use of a plain pattern for this of course i don't know how beautiful it's going to look making it on a plain pattern then make sure you add your seam your darts okay you know the areas of your darts and replace your darts please this is very important okay i only use this bodies plain the way my body is to be able to get this this perfectly okay please that is what i want to let you know make sure you draft your normal bustier before you start attaching this all you need is this okay i'm taking away this that is what you need for attachment 
But everything, your bodies, your skirt is drafted the way you do it, your bustier, your tube, your corset, whatever thing you want to do at the upper bodies, then you bring in this and attach. So like I said, you need two steps, okay? Just as we did for the skirt part of it, I need two steps for this front. All I'm going to do for my two steps right now is to, from this point, I'm going to mark a quarter of an inch then at this point I'll mark half an inch on this point I'll start marking point five that's seven five one one inch one inch one inch one inch okay so if I have one one inch one inch here yeah. so all I'm going to do right now is to make connect the one one inch line okay so if I connect this one one inch line, please don't get confused in here. Okay, don't get let me finish up this one before we go back to the other steps first. Okay, to avoid confusion. So now this is what you expected to have, people. At the end of the day, we are done with this. Okay, so this is what you expected to have. Okay, so after sewing your bodies, remember this is just a peplum that will be attached. Okay, your full gown will be sewn completely. It will be sewn completely. Your half scale bodies and the skirt part of it will be sewn completed. But before you fuse the bodies together, the skirt part and the up part together, please ensure you attach all of this. Okay, you are going to attach this to the skirt part. And you are going to attach this part to the upper body's part, okay? Then, with your seam allowances, you now fuse them together to have what we have here. So, you can see how beautiful this pattern is looking. So, so beautiful. So, like I said, if you need the two steps, it's all your choice to create the two steps. All you need to do is to take away this one, come back to your bodies. So, once you come back to your bodies, then i'm going to demonstrate to you how you are going to get your two steps just as i did here so i will just want the two steps to be at one one inch difference so i will keep marking my one inch i'll keep following this line marking my one one inch okay but once i start coming here i'll be marking 0.75 okay 0.75 because it's getting narrower half an inch and at the end of the day i'll mark two uh, 0 0.25 so i'll connect the lines okay i just want to connect the lines to show you okay let me just push this line to see if i can get something okay so this is what you are going to have for the second layer of the up so once you cut out the second layer from this point okay once you cut out the second layer from this point all you need to do is to pick up this second layer or the second step for the pleating and repeat exactly what we did here okay repeat it again here so after repeating it you place the second layer here with a gap of one one inch okay I believe you understand what we are doing in this tutorial this is actually so beautiful all right so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial i sincerely appreciate all of you for following sim right fashion academy if you find this content helpful please kindly hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week drop your comments on this comment section and your suggestions as well thank you